Zoa Energy is a better for you energy drink powered by great taste, electrolytes, B and C vitamins, zero sugar and caffeine from green tea and green coffee. Get out. You may have seen their new campaign recently. It's packing lots of BDE. That's big Dwayne energy. And it features someone we may all know. Uh, duh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Ever heard of him? When you drink Zoa Energy drinks, it gives you big Dwayne energy, the swag, the confidence and energy to help you conquer your day. With flavors like Tropical Punch, Frosted Grape, and a new flavor exclusive to 7-Eleven Mango Splash, it's hard to pick a favorite. My favorite, personally, I like the blue can. I grab a, a Tropical Punch. I like it to take me away to a tropical paradise while also giving me the energy to do my splash bouts. Available on Amazon and at a store near you like 7-Eleven, Costco, and more. For more info, go to ZoaEnergy.com. That's Z-O-A Energy.com. Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. I'd rather be shot in the face with a cannonball than do that again. But the cat came back. I thought it was a goner. Boom, bam, hot, damn. His skull's all over the floor, dude. And look, the last thing I want to be seen as is is a yellow belly. Strap in. Nice. <laughs> I'll go happy, happy 200th episode. This is it. Yeah, I think this, this is, is it. not 40. It's 200. It is 200. Yeah, this is 200, baby. And what big special plans did we do? Blake, you have any special plans for 200? I know the listeners. Ah. TII Nation is like, what did Blake plan? Something sick, something outrageous, something right. dope, something for real. Hit us with it. I think we have a big secret, right? We have a, we have a. No, big, no, no, uh, no. I'm asking what you specifically. Yeah, what did you bring me to the table? Yeah, what are you? Bringing we don't want to the hear your secrets. This? Uh, well, so you don't want to hear what I had to say, huh? <laughs> no, we want to hear what you have to say, but we don't want to hear your secrets. I had a really big secret I wanted to reveal, but I will sit on that for. Episode 400, when I reveal my secret. (laughs) Wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. something just popped up on the screen. That was wild. That was weird. (laughs) Hide your babies. And Durst, did you plan any big surprise or any epic event for the podcast? Is there there a secret you want to tell us? Well, I wanted to do something special. I know, I think for our 100th. Maybe it was mm-hmm. our 69th I wore a tuxedo. Oh. And so for today, mm. I wore a T-shirt the color of a tuxedo, black and okay. white. Wow. Pretty cool. Okay. Wow. Not, no. I don't Water. think that. Cool. No. Whoa, whoa, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hang on. Hey. <laughs> Hang on. What Something is going keeps on popping here? Up. There's like a weird interference. Something keeps flashing. I, I, I mean, my tech ghost is, is haunting us, yeah, and I feel odd. like the ghost of <laughs> Podcast Past is coming back. Did you guys just see... You know Slender? Did you you know Slender Man? Mm-hmm. I feel uh, like yeah, I just saw a not so Slender Man. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but more slender than has been before, man. Yeah, very. I would say uh, he's he's entering losing, Slender Man yeah, territory, weight, ladies man. and gentlemen. For the two hundredth episode, <laughs> we would like. <laughs> hey, shut up! One more hey, time. Well, let me do it again. Take two. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ready. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Keep no, no, no. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Damn it. Whoa. Ladies sorry. and gentlemen, uh-huh. we, for the 200th episode, yes. we would like to reintroduce <laughs> our good friend and ex podcast co host, <laughs> Kyle <laughs> Newton. Yo. Hello, hello. Dark greetings. Blake, do you have a a applause or no? No, I think that this is. Yeah, there's nothing you (laughs) couldn't add anything to the. I was waiting for a board. Did you have like a fizz plan for your bay, (laughs) bruh? Anything Uh, for my. Yeah, you kind of. I mean, we knew this was happening, Blake. It's not like it was. Right. What'd you pick for me, Blake? What'd you pick? (laughs) Yeah, I know you had something planned. Uh... (laughs) 
<laughs> the special board drop for your boy? Yeah, where's the special board drop, Blake? Hit him with it. Absolutely nothing. I I hit him with something. Hit him with something saucy. And what are you even looking for? Look at his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm okay. The my- moment has passed. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, Trojan man, interesting. That's cool. With this one. Huh? That would have been something. It would have <laughs> yeah. been something if Bogan you dropped man. it. That's if you would have dropped winning. it at the right time. Yeah. But you know, this is okay. Thank you. No. Thank you, Blake. This is only the two hundredth episode, so yeah. you know, we'll we'll figure it out maybe by four hundred or six hundred. I feel. Yeah, we're hoping so. Yeah, we're hoping so. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, gentlemen. Wow. Kyle, yes, welcome, yo, hi. welcome back. So what? Uh, what? What? Are we gonna let him talk? Return Dark greetings. <laughs> Dark greetings. What's We're not up? used to it. We're not used to leaving that much room for Kyle to talk. We right. we kind of fell into a really sexy groove there for a while. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Now right, Kyle's back. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're not sure yeah. if it's gonna be good. Or chonky or bad or well, how we're yeah or, or a little chonky. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's gonna clunk for a little bit. I know yeah, it. I can yeah. feel mm. it. But mm. once we get all four wheels on the three wheeler, we're gonna mm. be screaming, baby. Mm. Okay, <laughs> there he is, the king, return of the king. <laughs> He's Ret- back. I think, <laughs> He's yeah. back, Mister Metaphor himself. Turn of the king, baby. <laughs> God damn! I didn't. I didn't want him to be so just good and prolific. Right. And, and when you sound, put it that way, yeah. yeah. When you when you put it that way, I'm like, oh, he's. You turn a trike into a car, baby. Here we are. What's up? What's up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, vehicles. <laughs> now, now he's rhyming. Holy cow! <laughs> rhyming. Yeah. This guy's coming on fire. Kyle, uh, <laughs> yeah, your show cool. got canceled, and then you feel like you can come back to the yeah. The to d- the podcast or what's the deal they run out of babies up there in toronto <laughs> you you fall because yeah. we kind of had a cohesive thing going on where, where our little spices were blending quite nicely <laughs> oh, oh yeah what the fuck <laughs> yeah uh-huh what, what do you got the floor is yours the floor is yours, Kyle. <laughs> Which part do you want to know about? The show first or the babies or what's going on? Which one first, huh? Oh. Ooh, uh, babies. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> whatever strikes your fancy. Well, I know your kids, I've I've met your children. They're not they're no longer babies. Those are children. That's not what I'm talking about. He's talking about the babies. I think he's no, I think he's talking about the, his diet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finger has been going on in the comments because I've been posting pickleball clips and fucking yeah. everybody's just talking about how I'm eating babies. And I, I'm just oh, like, sure, how sure, the sure. fuck did people find out about this shit? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. So it's not denying it. Yeah, we knew. Hollywood elite. Hollywood elite. What are y'all doing? Hit it. What, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, we're the floor. Hey, the f- hey, Kyle, you're back <laughs> on the podcast. The floor is yours. Yeah, the floor is yours. <laughs> Okay, well, that is supposed to be a secret, and nobody's supposed to know about that kind of stuff. I thought that was between us. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. I love this take. So that's rough. Hail Satan. All right. How do they taste? (laughs) Oh, <laughs> you got trial. Okay, like open that. for interpretation. What yeah. a giving guest. You got trial. By the you way, you're a trial. guest today. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, good, good. seventh guest on the pod. We liked it. There we go. Yeah, no. There was a lot of guests in Atlantic City. Uh, the last guest was Connor, who pierced his nipple. And uh, yeah. I want to say he was maybe my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe my favorite. Oh, oh, I definitely saw the footy of that on Instagram. That looked fucking yeah. wild and cool. Yeah, so you've so you've been you've been uh, you cyber stalking, cyber stalking <laughs> us and, and yep. just kind of peeking in Alert, into our yep. world uh-huh. yep. and dipping your toe back in. Yep. When I get a chance. I definitely check and see what the boys are up to, man, all the time, you know? Thank you. All the time. So when I said, when we collectively... I don't listen. I don't listen. (laughs) But I I do watch on Instagram. (laughs) You never have. Go ahead. Adam, sorry. Okay. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. (laughs) When we collectively were saying we're not sure whether Mm -hmm. or not we're not sure if you're off eating babies right right because we don't know because you're not you're doing the podcast that's that's what we were saying we were saying we never said you i mean maybe we did but usually Mm -hmm. we didn't say that you are eating babies we say we don't know what you're doing Mm -hmm. is he eating babies we're not sure because he's not on Mm -hmm. the podcast and we don't get to catch up with Mm -hmm. him Right. So we're not sure if he is eating babies. If he is quite, quite literally, which is the yeah. thing I'm saying now is quite mm-hmm. literally. 
And then yeah. you come on the podcast, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you kind of just admitted to eating babies. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that you didn't. That you yeah. left it a question mark. I didn't know that, and it is in fact a question mark still. Okay, I'm not admitting to anything. I'm not admitting to anything. The floor is yours, dude. And uh, the other guys have met my son, Bo, and I don't. I don't know if you're allowed, dude. I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you, you well, might. Too good, delicious. He's cute. He's got these cute little fingers and cute little toes. You might mm -hmm. start nibbling. You might start nibbling. God, so much has happened since you've been gone. Adam, in your in your estimation, is mm -hmm. that what you think people eat off of babies first? Or is, is that the best part? Is the fingers and toes? The best part of eating babies. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I think the, the amount of baby eating is probably realistically mm -hmm. so low. So okay. low. But I think we can all agree that it's definitely those baby back ribs. <laughs> Thank you. I want my oh, babies cool. back, babies back. So, all yeah. right, off, off baby eating. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We can we can skip that. So the show, uh, Shadows, what we do in the shadows. Shadows, what we do in the shadows. Yep. Adam's really going down the note card right now. What we do in the shadows. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's good. It's good. What we do in the shadows is. The floor is yours. Yeah. Well, we, we're, we're catching up. We're catching Yo. up. Mm hmm. I like that. It's been, this is the, I've been working on the final season, man. It's been one week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you beat me too. <laughs> I've it's been, been working on the it's final been. season. It's been taking a lot of the mind, it's been taking yeah. a lot of the time. It's like, it just, yeah. it's a fucking mm -hmm. grind, dude. And uh, mm -hmm. we're out here doing it, and hey. it's almost yeah. over. It's almost done. Quick question uh, like, when you guys are doing the final episode or even the final scene, mm -hmm. is yep. it, is it a lot like, is everyone like crying, like getting through scenes? Oh, that's good. Yes, that that started this week. A lot of tears. This week, this week is the emotional week where yeah. everybody's wow. everything is the final, final. Yeah, yeah. you know, like that's kind of fun. The last though. time, yeah, it, it's great. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I mean, it it really. Yeah, remember, remember the last week on Workaholics? It was just like you're like touching. I, I would just find myself like touching stuff. I'd be like kind of just rubbing the desk. Yeah, and, that was mm. my fun. Dude, that's um, what I, yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, that's what I call my desk, your thigh, dude. That's where I get to work. Okay, shit. And then guess you sit on his desk. <laughs> dude, that's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you sit on sit your on desk. desk. Yeah, I'm gonna do some. Uh, Daddy's gotta go do some work. <laughs> okay, you can go sit on his desk. <laughs> yep, we heard you say that one, Blake. Give a <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funnier when you say it like four times. It gets better. Go for it. Yeah, yeah it does. Repetition. Do you've only said it twice? I think he's gonna go sit on his desk. You got two more. <laughs> I think he's gonna go sit on his desk. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a wrap on it. But I, I do remember. <laughs> I do remember <laughs> there being a lot, a lot of emotions that last mm. week. That was that was very fun. Mm -hmm. It runs hot. It runs. It runs hot. It's like everybody's feeling it. Everybody's vibing. Everybody's like, "Oh my god, that's the last line I'm ever gonna say. That's the uh -huh. last time I'm putting on this outfit. That's the mm -hmm. last time that this set is being." And used. as as sort of the the general of the production, as the producer and director, uh, are you just like, "Yo, hey guys, quit being bitches." Yeah, right. we gotta we gotta make our day. Focus, focus up. We gotta we're making our right. day. You're you're kind of being a bitch about it. Pretty much, pretty much. And that's where I store. Do you ever like sit Matt Berry down and just being like, "Hey, buddy, you're being a bitch about it." Uh, like, maybe, Matt, buddy, yeah. chill the fuck <laughs> dude, out. Yeah. Right. We get it. It's the last. Been on a lot of shows. You've dude. been You've on stuff. Done this. I expect yeah. a little bit more, buddy. God damn. Like no emotion. Professionalism. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is just yeah. a job, bro. Yeah. It, oh, okay. But no, no. I mean, it's Clunk? you go that way. I feel I find myself if I'm being permission to be real. Yeah, um, you have the floor. You have the floor. <laughs> Andy, he's back. <laughs> I find myself like like suppressing my emotions with that mentality. Oh my. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Like not allow like compartmentalizing everything that's making my sad it, making me sad into that like mm -hmm. making my sad into that area. Are you directing with like sunglasses on so like no one can see what's happening? He's making my sad. Well, it's I'm like, you know, like you just when the emotion What's he doing over there? 
I said action. I'm yeah. making my sad. <laughs> when the emotion comes in, you're just like, oh, well, fine. One more week and then I'm out of here. I'm not coming back. And you turn it into a bit, but it's like. Mm. Oh, is that the bit? That's the bit. Oh. Yeah. But it's like, really, I'm I'm crying. So are you as emotional for this as you were on Workaholics? And permission to be real. Yeah, you have the floor. Okay, permission granted. <laughs> I have the floor? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> permission granted. Awesome. Yeah, you haven't been listening, but this is like a thing we're doing. We're implementing like uh, the floor. The like the, the four uh, parliament yeah. rules or something. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Well said, Adam. I'm glad you had the floor. <laughs> yeah. Parliament funkadelic yeah. rules. Yeah. Sit on Daddy's desk or whatever the fuck Blake said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit on Daddy's lap. It gets funnier every time. Kyle, you have the desk. Go ahead. You have the desk. I have your thigh. Okay, my hand is on your thigh. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I'm was definitely more emotion emotional with workaholics ending for sure yeah like that's yes right yes fuck yes 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 fuck yes yes okay yes hell yeah yes i do i wasn't here for i wasn't doing shadow season one so yeah. they're like mm. they played the gag reel so you barely care mm. i was there at season two so two through six and yeah they played the gag reel and a lot of stuff was from season one. I was yeah. kind of like, oh, yeah. No, I, <laughs> like, <laughs> What's the gag reel? What is it? Might as well be strangers to you. Is that what I think it is or what is the gag reel? <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's jokes, Blake. It's jokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. I've been. <laughs> the, chore, the You're thinking about the chorg reel? <laughs> <laughs> I am, baby. Oh, my God, bro. You know, I always, I always hated the at the rap part of the gag reels where like everyone has to just like watch the actors more. I'm like, didn't they all do this? Right. Yeah. All season. Yeah. Weren't they all there? Yeah, but they, they kind of like it. And every once in a while you get like a uh, hair and makeup department in something, you know, they, I like though. I like that. That's what yeah. they were. I'm a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of like watching someone try and get a take. Cause everyone's like, yeah, no, that was the day I missed my kids. Whatever. <laughs> you know, it's like, right. <laughs> Somebody's getting super fucking emotional in the yeah, corner. Yeah, you, you couldn't get that line. God damn it. I remember that. Oh, I remember that day. Yeah, yeah, that that day that you you couldn't you couldn't stop laughing and I miss my daughter's graduation. Right. Yeah, I remember that day. Yeah. Yeah. That's a funny outtake. Yeah. Huh. Oh man. Oh man. Actually, can I get, can I get a copy of that? That's a real gag. That was that was that was really funny. That was the day my husband got in that car accident right. and uh I didn't have my phone on me because we and were shooting uh, in this dumbass location. Yeah. Yep. Funny. Yep. Hey. Funny. Yeah. And I actually I told you guys and you wouldn't let me rap. Yeah, you, you wouldn't would. let me. So funny. You said I had to be there for continuity. But yeah, no, that's funny. That's funny. Mm -hmm. That's funny. That's a real oh, gag. Funny. <laughs> it's funny. That's a real gag. Hey, we're not saying it's not funny, but it is. Uh, the day that life's my life's a gag, and accident. then my husband died. Yeah. Life's a gag. Way oh. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, way whoa. Yeah, they had a lot of that. They had a lot of like you know behind the scenes in the gag reel, which is that's a hit at the mm -hmm. rap party. You know, be where it's all the cameramen and. Yeah, and all yeah. the everybody, all the gaffers and grip camera women, seeing camera mm -hmm. women and camera people and all that yeah. doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, thank you for mentioning other people, except for, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to reality, Kyle. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> welcome, Kyle. I know you're in Canada where where there's women. Oh my gosh, you guys are ruthless. Okay, <laughs> jeez, I made a little bit of a mistake. Oh, yeah, we're woke now. What I yeah, we're, we're hey, we're woke now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're woke now. Yeah, welcome. Finally, jeez, let's get there. Well, yes. we're, yeah. we're wokesters. <laughs> get with the program. Get it. Get with the showgram. All right, cool. Right on. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, I do like that, mm -hmm. like the like how we had on Workaholics, uh, that mm -hmm. we knew it was the last episode. Classic show. Great show. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I liked that we went into season seven knowing that it was our last season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because so many shows, like, I don't know about Gemstones, we might just... You know, we're doing season four. Maybe it's our last mm -hmm. uh, or, or not. We we just don't we don't know. I act uh, every scene as if it's my last. Oh, you <laughs> That's do. huge. Yeah. Like f oh. kind of full of resentment and like half in like mm, this is probably my last scene. Fuck this. I actually 
<laughs> have you noticed that? when watching your perform watching your performances <laughs> i do notice that yeah. yeah can you see that i'm kind of like barely there and i'm like yeah what you're yeah, like yeah, you're kind of like oh, I'm one foot out the door. If yeah. I leave now, I'm beating traffic, kind of like <laughs> yeah, behind the, the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, call cut. You call cut yourself during the scene, <laughs> and that's a cut. If you watch closely, you can hear me go cut, 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 cut when they're on me, but I'm not cut. saying anything. I think I I noticed that uh, I noticed yeah. that in the intern a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it yeah. in the Godzilla acting opposite Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. You're you were like when I divulge my affairs <laughs> and I just I'm like mm-hmm. cut. You, you, right ke- you kept like uh, you got it. You got it. I want to go home now. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> got it. Still rolling. You kept flashing the camera with your eyes. You'd be like in the scene and then go. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Looking down the barrel. Mm-hmm. Did we get it? I think we got it. Down the barrel of the gun. We're good. And and credit credit to Nancy. Credit to Nancy. Um, Nancy same Myers. mentality. That's why we click. We text every day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's oh. like, let's just wow. let's just make our day. I yeah. like that. It's and the text from her is mostly like, why does your background of your uh, podcast setup look so shitty? <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Do you, do, yeah, her design. Yeah, sure. Of Do course. you need a designer? Nancy Myers, known known for her interior design. Yeah, she's. It's usually just like, hey, yes, like one poster that looks like Satan, and then a a movie poster that's on the floor and a whiteboard yeah. with nothing on it, but yeah, way yeah, off yeah. in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have to like erase the stuff because you know, then all of a sudden everyone's gonna steal my ideas. But this this right here. Oh, <laughs> oh, sure. Of yeah, course. what is that? That's Eagleheart Johnny at? Ryan. Yeah. Johnny Ryan. Mm-hmm. Eagleheart mm-hmm. from like, I don't know, like a screening oh, that they did. Yeah, that's tight. Dude, and so, uh, you know, Eagleheart. Legendary Eagleheart very show. cool. And then this so poster good. down here. Monsanto. Can't hate right? it. Is that his name? Chit. Chit. Yeah, it's Game, game <laughs> yeah. Over Man. We, game Over we Man. We were in that movie and Kyle directed it. Yeah. Uh, woo. Yeah. It's really good. Hell yeah, dude. Shot by Ativa. 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 <laughs> Ativa. <laughs> What, oh, the poster, yeah. Shot by Atiba Jefferson, yeah. <laughs> Blake, the floor is yours. Go ahead. Yep, yep, yep. Thank, well, I just want to give Atiba a shout out for shooting our poster for Game Over, man. Well done. Yeah, man. Yeah, well yeah. Done. What else? What else? Wonderful. I, yeah, he did. He did our poster for uh, Workaholics as well, or for uh, sorry for uh, the Outlaws as well. Mm. Look at that. And yeah. for this is important. He did our uh, photography. He also shot that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he always seems to be there. Yeah, shooting. Yeah. Maybe I think we hired forward. him to do it. Is what I think it is. Uh, Kyle. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Can I have the four? Where Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Because this it does look cool. Because yeah, by the time this airs, you won't be there anymore. So can you just dox yourself, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm in Toronto. I'm in Toronto. Okay. I'm staying down by the beach. It looks It looks really nice. Because the last time oh, you boy. were in Toronto, it looked it looks kind of depressing your living situation you're like yeah. oh just wet clothes hanging off of yeah. a, a rowing machine yeah that was bad oh yeah that's right yes yeah it looks like kind of sad and yeah, yeah a, you know more depressed vibes yeah. but this looks looks like yeah. it has a lot of natural light it's it, yep. is that a, i mean it's a staircase yep. but it could <laughs> double as an elevator yeah are you upstairs are you upstairs at a nice wells fargo yeah it does <laughs> seem like in like the break area? <laughs> yeah, it does seem like a Wells Fargo. I brought the family this year. So like we moved to a house uh, by the beach and basically like just set up shop for four months, man. The whole time I've been out here. Yeah. Why don't I know? How come there's a beach in Toronto? Well, it's it's the lake. It's the it's by the lake. So yeah. they call it the beach. I mean, you know that, right? From your Chicago. Of course. Grew up on the beach myself. This is all the same lake. This no no. These are the Great Lakes, but this okay. one is Ontario. This one's Lake Ontario. I'm 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 on the North Shore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard of it. Seems real. That's that's one. I feel like a lot of people don't fuck with Lake Ontario. That well, that one doesn't get a lot of shine. Well, it does. Because well, it does. It you, does up north. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it's it's got Niagara Falls. Oh my God! Yeah, heard heard of it. That's a big one. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. I've always wanted to go to that. That looks quite intriguing to me. Mm-hmm. Niagara Falls is one of the sickest 
sickest fucking fucking waterfalls, you pull, bro. You pulled up. Yeah. You pulled up to, to the falls? Oh, dude. Yeah, I'll pull up to the falls anytime, especially on the Canadian side up here. That's the fucking view. Oh, it's the view. Oh, I thought, may okay. Oh, you're taking yeah, sides yeah. now. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, you're more of a Canadian. You're more of a Canuck now. Okay, yeah. I see you. Yeah. For the view of Niagara Falls? Yeah, consider me in Canada. Wait, what's the di what's the difference? Is it a little lower on our side or what? what's the big difference here? Well, when you're on the New York side, if you're looking at the falls, the falls fall away from you. When you're on the Canadian oh. side, the falls fall towards you. So you get to see it. Oh, Mm. It's a better view from the from the Canadian side, so I okay. recommend that. Mm. Okay. Over the other one, um, mm. and it's fucking. They they are pounding, dude. Motherfuckers are going off this shit in barrels, by the way, and it's the most insane shit. Still to this day, still. I thought that was like a 1930s Harry Houdini type shit. That's insane. No, no, they're still, I'm looking at it right now. And a lot of people, a lot of people survive. And here's the thought. They're still fucking with it, dude. For bad ideas, season no. two, if Don't I do, do season it. two. We're back. Maybe I get it. Uh, we have scientists, scientists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. construct like an absolutely un indestructible barrel. It's uh -huh. tough. It's <laughs> tough. Well, it's why is it tough? I feel like it's not that tough. Well, it's, it's not tough. You put yourself what you do is you crawl inside the barrel and then you just go off of it. It's not tough. Do you know that the do you know the first person to go over the falls was a 68 year old woman in the late 1800s? OK, that I got to check that. That is woke as hell, dude. And I like that. I like that. Get him. Yeah, she'd fucking had it. Kids driving her crazy. Yeah, yeah. She was the first one to do it. She fucking rocked it, bro. And she was like, I'd when she finished, when she got out, she was like, I'd rather be shot in the face with a cannonball than do that again. Whoa. Oh, okay. Holy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. She That's why I'm saying maybe you don't want to do it, dude. Uh, well, hang on. Uh Kyle. Where's this chick rips? That would kill her. <laughs> Kyle, uh, you're a liar, because I'm looking at it right now. I'm not. Oh shit! We got the first one was 1853. That's Joseph Avery dead. Then oh. an unnamed man dead. That's her. That's her. Then an unnamed man dead. And then okay. it's Annie Edison Taylor, 1901. That's her. That's her. Okay, so he's saying first to survive. Yeah. So I'm not a liar. Oh, the first to survive. Oh, okay. I did. I thought you said the first person to do it. Small detail. You fucking. You fucking. <laughs> Dude, but welcome back, dude. We put each other in the crosshairs. We fucking yeah, <laughs> drag you over the coals. Yeah, I'll quantify it. I'll quantify it from here on out. I appreciate that kind of knowledge. Okay. She put a cat in a barrel and sent it over two days before, and she was just like, you know, this cat's fine. I like this that. Cat's the cat didn't die? That's such a Durs move. Yeah. The cat's was fine. So then she was like. The cat had a little cut on it. That's about it, though. Yep. But the cat came back. I thought it was a goner. And then she went and did it <laughs> and was bleeding. She was bleeding, but it wasn't she wasn't seriously injured. So <laughs> that's that's kind of tight that this like this. I mean, looking at her, she's a, a thick broad, this thick broad rock and roll grandma. I mean, how did how did they but but how did this even what come? The, up? Why why would they go put me in a barrel and send me down this thing? What the fuck? Well, she thought she her husband because people are cool, dude. People have been cool for a long time. That's Cana That's on the Canadian side for sure. I know the Annie Edison story because no. I've been kind of like intrigued by it over the okay. past couple of years. Okay, because it's, okay. But her son died the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, because I shot down there a couple of years ago, and that's when I first saw the falls, and I saw the barrel. He's just ruminating on this. I feel like Kyle had dark times, and he's like, I might as well just fucking get in the barrel. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, this is this is why he didn't have time to record a one-hour podcast once a week with his friends. It's because he's too busy. He goes to Niagara Falls. He's too busy ruminating about uh, Annie Edison Taylor, 1901. He's right. Reading the Wikipedia page. They're like, where's Kyle? He's he's like, he's been staring at Niagara Falls for 10 straight hours. Yeah. <laughs> we found him. 
I'm going to do it. Just holding a pickleball paddle. And this is the only <laughs> he keeps looking at it and whispering. Say, You're the only thing keeping me here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. He say, <laughs> maybe six feet ain't so far down. Hey, real talk, you guys. Real talk. You guys know me real well. And I like you for that. Yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. But her, her son had died and her husband died. And she fell on. Oh, my God. Just before she went over. Yeah, she fell on oh, financial yeah. troubles. She was like a dance instructor and also a teacher. And then she wanted to retire. And she oh thought that if she went off the falls, if she survived it, she would be financially stable for the rest of her life. She thought that... Because what? She like did it in a barrel that said like... Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo on it? like Because of just like, like early daredevil shit. She thought she oh. would be able to do it and then sell out arenas basically and talk about how she did it. I don't oh. know if there was like a religious angle. I love how back in the day you just had to do something crazy and then walk around the earth being like, talk about it. I'm that lady. She wanted to go viral, dude. Dude, that's what that's the she was the original person to go viral. Yeah. She wanted to, but it didn't quite work. She did not make a lot of money and ended up dying a very poor person. And somebody stole the barrel from her, which was fucked up. What the uh, yeah. Are yeah. you serious? That sucks. Her fucking manager, her manager stole the barrel. It's wow. Isaac. Fucking bullshit, dude. I'm pissed. Fucking Isaac. The yeah. Isaac of her. Yeah. That's fucked up. I'm going to take it to get cleaned. Well, that's why if you're back in the day, it's cool to do daredevil type stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, because that yeah. rocks like Houdini yeah, type cool. stuff. But what's cooler is being like a uh, a criminal, right? I feel like criminals, uh -oh. they mm -hmm. really shined in the early 18, late 1800s, early night. Adam, where are you going with this? He's talking about a battle of infamies, right? Different oh. infamies or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm like, if you, you'd prefer to be. But what do you have on deck? What are we talking here? I like this. You have the floor. No, I, I think you'd prefer to be like Jesse James. Over if, Evil Knievel? Over, well, Evil Knievel was the 70s. I'm saying like way back o over this lady that just fucking. Yeah. What else was going on during this time on our planet while she was going overboard? Yeah. Like, if she, you're looking to get rich, rob banks with your friends and be f a fucking badass. What year was this? Did we hmm. have that? This is 19 1901 is what he said. 1901. 1901. Yeah. And by the way, banks were getting robbed every day. My great, right. great, great, great uncle or whatever. This is where we're going. Was okay. in the Jesse James <laughs> gang. Yeah, I saw this coming. Mm -hmm. And I mean, mm -hmm. he was murdered. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. You know, these bank robbers were murderers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, yeah, you be, you just be a murderer, mm -hmm. uh, and you rob trains, and you rob. And by the way, you don't, you don't murder anyone unless they pull a gun on you, and then you, you got to do murders. Mm -hmm. Then you got to do murders. I don't know if that, I don't know if that was true. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't think that was true with everybody. I think everybody had a different code. That was like the code. Hey. Hey, not well, not for not for everybody, but hey, for me, if I was going to start a, I think you come from a long line of murderers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you love to justify murder, and it's it's concerning. They used to call my Wyatt to, straight to the temple divine. No, I mean, wouldn't you rather? I think being a bank robber would be kind of fun. And anytime I'm in a bank, Adam, again, these are murderers. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we well, talking so, about? Yeah. You, want, you think it'd be fun about? to... What yeah. if you guys murder <laughs> people? No, every time I'm in... I'm not talking about the murders, okay? The murders, are, they're excluded from this conversation. <laughs> the, those aren't important. Okay. Those are just the minor detail. Right. Okay. That's where we're brushing past the murders. So you're talking about a different universe where to be a bank robber, you don't have to murder. You don't have to murder to okay. be a bank robber. Many okay. people have robbed banks. All right. That's and cool. what do you have to do? You just you... have to show it. I think you just have to show a gun. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> you have to stick a gun in someone's face and get the, and get the, the money. Every time I'm in a bank, you like the idea of sticking a gun in in someone's face, maybe have, even pistol whipping one tough guy just to uh -huh. show the rest of them to shut yeah. the fuck up. Uh huh. In in the early 1900s. Nowadays, no, no, okay. don't want to do it. Now this is and this is over going over a barrel in the falls. Like you would rather you like that over going over the yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now and surviving and in that parallel universe, 
I guarantee survival. Okay. Or like, or being like a Buffalo Bill Cody, where you like you're you have murdered, you've murdered. He's for sure murdered a lot of okay. people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then you still get to go on tour. You he went on tours shooting. Oh yeah, he's a rock star shooting little. Okay, I guess I don't know who this is. He's like a gun. Oh, doing the gun show. He's a gunslinger. Oh, you don't know Buffalo Bill Cody? I don't Come know on, the man. intricacies no. of. How don't you know your Wild West uh, heroes, dude? <laughs> Buffalo Bill Cody. Never, never, <laughs> never, ever gave a fuck. Oh, wow. That's. I guess, sorry, my heroes aren't bank robbers. So <laughs> That's weird to me. <laughs> I guess I didn't lean in. Uh... And also, I think, I don't think I would want to be a bank robber over going over the falls in the barrel. I think I'd rather do that. I think I would. <laughs> yeah, it seems yeah. way. <laughs> Way less harmless or way, way more harmless. <laughs> You're doing harm to yourself as opposed to like maybe having to shoot somebody if they pull a gun on me for robbing the bank. But here's here's what you're doing. You're robbing the bank. OK, the the banks, the banks insured. Right. Uh huh. OK. Yeah. Keep working on this one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, the banks insured. The okay. fact that you guys. OK, for this sure. Is actually, this is actually pissing me off a little bit. But are the banks insured in 1901? Yeah, they were. But are the banks, in, they're not insured in 1901. He's getting pissed now. <laughs> yes. According to every movie I've ever seen, yes, they were. <laughs> okay. He does say it in um, Shanghai Noon. But I'm so, I, it's actually, I'm like really bummed that you guys, Maybe. anytime I walk into a bank, still to this day, Yeah. I think like. They're lucky you don't have a gun. Could I rob, could I rob this bank? Sure. Is it, is there a possibility of uh-huh. robbing this bank. I'm looking around. <laughs> At any time, <laughs> any time, you're checking this out. Jesus. Literally every time I'm in a bank, I'm like, holy mackerel. Jesus. Could I, ro- could I rob this bank? What if you just need new checks? <laughs> when I see them open, you know how sometimes they're like behind the thing and they open the big uh, safe? Sometimes. And ca- Always. And you, and you look <laughs> back there and you're like, yeah. Yeah. man. I would like to repel. I'd like to come through an air duct and repel down. Shoot hmm. two innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do a mediocre podcast. <laughs> and uh... this is before podcasting. I'm not talking about the. F- the- you guys are being such. But you repelled. You repelled. Then I, I'll, I'd rather be the the town storyteller, vaudeville. Yeah, you did repel. <laughs> you repelled. You could repel in 1901. But you can't repel. It's a fucking rope. On with what? Just some twine? Regular ass. They got twine and pulleys. It's going to be rough. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, Blake. We- they definitely had rope. I'm leaning towards Adam now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking rope, dude. You, yeah. you, you think repelling is a new thing? Yeah. Absolutely. How do you? Come on, man. What are you doing with this rope? You're having your friend like lower you down? Yeah. That's right. You're going through chimneys. <laughs> the chimney at the bank? Yeah, chimney at the bank. This is 1901, you dumb fuck. That leads right to the vault? Well, yeah, no, they they did have chimneys. That leads right to the vault? No, you rappel down, now you're inside the bank. They did have chimneys. Blake, in 1901, banks were almost all chimneys. You could walk in the front door if you're just going into the bank. This is at night, (laughs) and you're using dynamite. You're going to blow a hole in the wall, you dumb fuck. Okay, so that's a different thing. You want to be a cat burglar, not a bank robber. Yeah. I like this part. Okay, I would do the thing about me. I do both. I'm fucking <laughs> robbing. I'm just about mm-hmm. that money, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm not okay. walking in. I'm not walking in during open huh. hours, man. I'm definitely plotting and scheming the robbery where I got to get mm-hmm. past all the stuff. He's back. I'm not walking in there with a gun and a fucking uh, mask on, just like give me all your money. That ain't me. That's the way to do it. No, 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 dude. We're not wearing a mask because we walk in. They know who the fuck we are. <laughs> well, that ain't me, dude. That ain't me. I'll be driving the car. Right. It's actually helpful. Yeah, they actually know who the fuck they are. But like, that's a good look though. The I old like, like bandana over the face pointed down. Like that's a look. But if you're notorious enough, if you if you're killing tons of innocents in every bank you walk in, now they're gonna say, no, nah, no. Nah, not innocence. Not innocence. Hey, just give him the money because he kills Adam. children. He kills women. <laughs> not innocence. Somebody's getting killed. Somebody's getting killed by accident at some point. He, he, he'll kill anything. So you walk in. Well, J- Jesse James, he would like give people money. He, You know, so people were like. You know why? He had blood on his hands. He was <laughs> <Yeah>. like. 
I might as well go over Niagara Falls in a barrel if I keep living this life. It, it actually disgusts me that you guys aren't about <laughs> robbing banks in the early 1900s, well, late 1800s. Yeah. Look, I feel like you're kind of like pitching the bank robbing idea to me. Mm hmm. And I, now I'm starting to see you have a vision. It's after the bank has closed. It's nighttime. We're using dynamite. We're well, some. Hey, sometimes, sometimes. Well, that's one part of it. Yeah, that's one part. Yeah, you're, we're we're repelling down with yeah. a with a hemp rope. Sometimes you're like you're like, hey, <laughs> we're on the run, right? Because now mm -hmm. the 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 Texas Rangers they're after us. Oh my the, God. the the newly formed FBI. They're the starting to team. they're starting to come around. Not okay. the baseball team, the Texas motherfucking Rangers. Okay, got yes. it. They're after us. The, mm -hmm. I mean, the other states, they're finally starting to talk to each other. They're like, oh, we got to get huh. these guys. We're going from Texas to Oklahoma to uh, Kansas, into Nebraska, down th what a nightmare. through Missouri. We're fucking mm. on the run, dude. Can't, and we drive. Can't you just like set up shop somewhere like New York no, City no, no. and open up like no, a no, no. boutique? I like the on the run part, too. I think that'll be fun. I just don't like walking in and pulling guns on people. Haven't you seen Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid? Like. It ain't fun. Very fun. It's a great Very movie. Fun. But also, Adam, so now you're so notorious. How do mm -hmm. you even spend this money? Like, what are you doing in your spare time when you're not robbing banks? Are you just hiding out with your bros? It doesn't probably playing. Yeah. You go to, I mean, there's there's like an underground scene. Hookers. Poker. It's a hooker bathhouse. It's a lot of hookers. Yeah, it's hook. It's poker. <laughs> yeah. There's like an underground scene. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of hanging out with hookers. Gambling. A lot of playing like <laughs> underground card games. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm back in. I'm in. I'm out. Also, there's certain towns that you just go to and they don't give a fuck, dude. They're like, right. yeah, you roll through Tombstone or whatever. They're like, mm -hmm. yeah, he's a fucking notorious. Well, he's actually kind of tight. Isn't that where they all, the cops killed? Didn't they? Well, I don't know. I got to re, I got to rewatch. Well, this is right before, this is, this is right before, uh, that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is when it was cool. Okay. At that time. Yeah. Wyatt Earp. This is right before Wyatt Earp showed up. Okay. Yeah. I bet with all that money at that time, you could go and incorporate your own city and make your own up and then have the law be like, I'm good. Oh, that's cool. There you go. And that's, that's Jacksonville, mm -hmm. Florida. Sorry. Maybe that's okay. Florida. <laughs> Like, shut up, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> Just slamming on the brakes. <laughs> First of all, this didn't. What do you mean, bud? Put that on the board, please. Maybe that's Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> First of all, all the bank robberies, all the big time bank robberies happened in the Southwest or in the Midwest. <laughs> Look at this weirdo, dude. So, like, what is your what do you love about it so much? Besides the, the murder that the, for sure happened? Well, in 1901, there was a great fire in Jacksonville, Florida. So that was uh, just a little history lesson for my guys. Oh, <laughs> Thank my you. God. Okay. The fact that you're not into this actually it kind of weirds me out because it's so cool. I love all of those movies. I love all mm -hmm. the old Western movies. It is fun. And I love the things about bank robbers. I. It's so dusty. Yeah. It is. That's sick. You're it's out true. there. It is. It is. A lot of syphilis, too. A lot of syphilis, bro. Dude, oh. the thing is, the thing is, is, is you do, yes. you do it. You get those old school STDs where like you're, you're, you, you're stricken. And syphilis mm. is where they, they shove the fucking like wide ass needle in your, your urethra. Yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. that seemed like some pretty raw ass shit. Yeah. Yeah. Down your dick. Ad Adam's already walked down this lane too, Kyle. Yeah, you're not going to convince me. He's like, it goes down your dick. <laughs> He's already thought about it. Down your dick. Yeah. And then you're back to Robin Max. Yeah. <laughs> down your dick. Very, very painful. They put yeah. like this crazy, like needle down your dick. It's but pretty severe. Yeah. Adam's already figured out that it preventatively, if you put the barrel of your own gun down your yeah. dick hole, it's it's basically loose and wide for whenever you get the syphilis and the doctor's like, well, this is easy. Mm -hmm. And the syphilis can just, yeah, it could just fall right out. Seeps out. Yeah, yeah. Good call. That's insane. Yeah, the syphilis will just seep right out. Oh, nice, right. dude. Nice. Wow, yeah, this so, is crazy. And uh, that's from bank robbing. Okay, all right. Absolutely, yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, or like you're a gunslinger, right? You're a gunslinger. Yeah, mm -hmm. And... You're a, a good guy. You're a the good guy. West. But it's sure. the old west. And mm -hmm. if someone pulls a gun on you or someone st steals your right. herd of cattle, yeah. maybe you're running maybe you're running cattle for a while. Sure. It's a side hustle. You're a cowboy. And someone steals steals some cattle. Mm -hmm. 
Boom, look, bam, hot, damn. His uh, skull's all over the floor. And dude. look, the last thing I want to be seen damn. as is, is a yellow belly, right? I, exactly. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. I ain't a yellow belly. That's a good call. It seems, it's weird because I never thought of, I never thought of Durs as a yellow belly. That's a good call. But now he's a- Until now? Now he's a no good yellow belly. <laughs> oh, don't call him a yellow belly, man. That sucks. Well, I, all I'm saying is I'm pitching is my cool idea, no, and no, I thought we of... would be. I thought we would be a fun gang. I'm mm -hmm. like the four of us rolling into a bank, rolling into town, infamy. I think we are. We got the black. We got black leather trench coats on. We're, we're the guys that wear all what? black. But like maybe one of us, maybe the leader. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's me. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe he I'm... wears a white hat. Oh, it's, it's and so you really hat. know, or like a red hat or something. And so you, uh -huh. or we all wear red bandanas, all right. black, red band. I want to wear a purple hat. I'm wearing a purple hat. Okay, well, no, it's kind of a no. And I, I wear sandals. No, one of us gets. To, no. I want to wear sandal or moccasins. Yeah. Wake's wearing sandals. Yeah, no. that's dope. No, and I also am that I got from a really beautiful right. Native American. Blake woman. thinks he's like yeah. Tonto, which is just a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm also not down with the black with the black coat. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you're appropriating, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I'm not down with the black coat. I'm wearing a leather vest. We're kind. It's kind of. Blake has a gun in somebody's face, and they're like, "Really? You're appropriating?" <laughs> hey guys, yeah, we're, it's kind of a paint. uniform, and we can't just wear whatever we want. Like the leader gets to wear one piece of flair. <laughs> this is like Papa Smurf. I feel like everybody should have at least one piece of flair that, like, is their one hundred percent. Like yeah. I obviously wear a headdress. Well then, well then, who's the leader? Then who's the leader? Well, because think about like a band. Like, there's sure there's the lead singer, but then there's yeah. like that. There's like Slash. Who's yeah. almost more iconic than Axel? Well, well here's yeah. the deal. Here, here's the deal. It's not. It's not just the. It's mm -hmm. not pieces of flair. Because he got the hat. Because he's got the hat. He's got the moccasins. <laughs> it's not the moccasins. It's okay. one of us carries a shotgun. One of us has has two has two pistols and does a lot. Oh, the gun. It's like saw the first sawed off shotgun. Oh, oh, no. okay, Adam, okay. I think so. I spray paint a lot of I, tricks. I spray paint my shotgun pink. That's kind of hard. There's no spray paint. This is back in the day. That doesn't mm -hmm. seem real. This is the early. This is the 1800s. There's. Hey, Adam. When was spray paint invented? Come There's on. There's no man. spray paint in the oh, 80s. On. Adam, <laughs> and I dip it in pink berries, whatever, dude. It's yeah, pink. there you go. You got it with the with pink berry wasn't invited in that either. You're you're um, gonna want the moccasin, dude. You're gonna want that. You're gonna want that yeah. guy on your team because he's quiet. <laughs> well, sure. I want the moccasin. And can I be the knife guy? Or is I, there any use for a knife quiet. guy? I want to be the moccasin guy, but hey, we're not gonna be we're not this is cultural appropriation, and in my gang, we don't do this. Okay? Oh, that's cool. We don't culturally appropriate. We have... Oh, wow. You took a woke stance. So you shoot you shoot women and children, but you draw the line at moccasins. Hey, this is a woke <laughs> podcast now, Kyle. You missed out. Uh, Dura sort of converted us the other week. Well, uh, chill. I'm chill with that. All yeah. gravy, baby. Woke is, woke is important. We're gonna have we're gonna have a Native American, and he's gonna be one of the most badass motherfuckers. Oh. You've, I mean, he's scalping people. What mm. the? That seems. Yeah, like. we're like, hey, <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, Jeff. Uh, that's not what they do. Yeah, we're like Jeff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because that's what we call him because he has a he has like little he has In like. Uh, like little yellow fe feather or whatever his like uh, Indian name is, and and yeah. but it doesn't roll off the tongue. Native American, mm -hmm. it doesn't roll off the tongue. Yeah, and we're woke now. Yeah, it doesn't roll <laughs> off the tongue. Yeah. So we just call sure. him Jeff. Yeah, huh. we call okay. him Jeff. It's yellow? the 1800s. Okay. Doesn't sound too. Doesn't yeah. sound too. Uh, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not calling you that's yellow weird. feather. I'm a you, bitch. You, bitch, you are Jeff. Well, it doesn't roll off the tongue because your name's Jeff, bitch. <laughs> because if you're if you're in the middle sure. of a scene, if you're in the middle of like a a shootout, a scene, you're gonna <laughs> say a scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's all a movie in my head, dude. It's all a movie. Well, no, that's the other thing. Adam didn't tell you. No, while this wow. is happening, he's having a guy write out everything. Like he's, <laughs> he's taking everything down. Notes. Yeah, so it could then be a, right. a movie later on. A play. A play. Sure. Yeah. Well, a play, yeah. then a movie. A, a it's play. an epic story. Yeah, well, because, yeah, movies are just on the rise, probably starting to invent film. No, you don't know when anything happened, do mm -hmm. you? Do you not? 
about 1901. All I know is the great fire in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> but you guys dogged sure. on me for that. Well, by the way, I'm saying the I'm saying the mid late 1800s into the early 1900s. Do they do they have video cameras? The moving picture. <laughs> Yeah, when did that start? That's that's at the that's at I, what is that 1908? It's like the turn of the century. I think the science was being developed around sure. 1900. Yeah, I'm saying maybe you're the yeah. first person that they're kind of following around and and taking okay. pictures of. Oh, a little doc. We okay. got a little doc going on. Yeah, yeah wow. Ooh, the footy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'm into that. And it's a shootout, but they're like, they're like, don't move because it yeah. takes. If you move, right, the, it's going to be too, way too blurry. Like, please be very still. Yeah, just hold it. Hold yeah, right. it. We're Kyle's, hold it. Kyle's <laughs> under that curtain thing, just yeah. fucking cranking the camera. Guys, I'm. Um, please. Yeah, they say the only thing more deadly than Divine's gun is Kyle's camera. Right? Huh. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe there. I'm there to rewrite. I don't know. Maybe that's my job. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. Whatever. As long as I have a pink shotgun, I'm hyped. Oh, Adam's dude. the one yeah. bank robber. Blake's there thinking he's part of it. I'm, dude, I'm the one bank robber who's who's trying to take it really serious, who's just like, guys, no. Where I'm the one that wears the white hat. Right. Like, say, I have the pink shotgun. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, he's being a sissy bitch about it. That's how he sounds. Yeah, that's how he sounds. That's not very woke. Yeah, he, uh, Kyle's like trying to film us, even though yeah. cameras don't exist. Well, it's a new inv They do exist. <laughs> they do exist, and I have it. And Durs is it doesn't want to do any part. He doesn't want any part of it because he, in is this the time period, hate to say it. Little bit of a yellow belly. Yellow belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Shucks. to prove us that he's not scared, he's going to go off Niagara Fall next week. And what does yellow belly mean? It means like you pee a all bitch. over yourself. But yeah, why does it, urine. yeah, what does it come from? It is, it's pee pee. Oh. Oh. Well, like you wet your pants, like you're, you're, but my dick is below my belly and pee pee does not go up. I'm afraid to look that one up. No, but like you. Your pee's so hard it goes up. I think you're right. It's got to be pee. Maybe it's a snake when you flip it over. Or a lizard or some kind of a lizard. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. I don't see the the definition is a cowardly person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to look up the et entomology. Right. But where does it come from? Yeah. And, Excuse me? Entomology. Okay. Is that a coffee cake? Yellow belly. And by the way, the use, use over time, it actually... In the um, 1950s, it peaked. Okay. It was okay. really used a lot in the 1950s. So this wasn't even a phrase uh, w w the time that I'm talking about. Uh, mm. Well, you could say that it peaked in the 50s because they put it in Western movies, which peaked oh. in the 50s. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have it. I mm. have what? So why don't, you, why don't you peek behind the curtain? <laughs> <laughs> so nobody knows what they're talking about today. I like that. Yeah. What peaked? Are you talking about the phrase peaked in the 50s? The phrase. I, Adam knows he wants to rob banks. That's what this he knows. Is the, here's what it is. Dude, it's so weird to me. You, you're you telling me that you've never <laughs> thought about robbing. I don't have these... I don't have these fantasies. Kyle, you have the Florida... <laughs> Go ahead, Kyle. Okay, I'll be... I'll wait. <laughs> well, I, I just want to say one thing. I, I kind of now want to handwrite, um, I'm robbing this bank... Mm -hmm. Do not hit the button and give me five thousand dollars. No button, and kind of give it to Adam to just keep in his wallet, okay. just to have. Yeah, <laughs> because I feel like the next cool. time you go to a bank, which is never, it'll give you a little charge to be yeah. like, I could mm -hmm. do it right now. I could if they knew what I had in my little butt pocket here. I wonder if you gave it if you just like were at a car wash and you gave it to like the car wash guy, like what what he would do. <laughs> Give me everything in the register. <laughs> You're, you get shot. You get shot, Adam. No, if it says I'm, if it says no, I'm God. robbing this bank, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're getting a gun pulled on you. Hey, but guess what? I pull what? one back, dude, and let's see who's fastest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see yeah. who's fastest on the trigger, dude. Oh my god, dude, you are just at the car wash. Yeah, these... this innocent guy just washing cars, and yeah. now it's a shootout at the car wash. Hey, but he, but he pulled a gun. He could have just he could have just given me the bank. But you gave him a note that said, "Give me the money, or I'm gonna kill you." I didn't say it. Doesn't say kill. He didn't not say kill. I'm robbing this bank. It says I'm uh -huh. robbing this bank. Yeah, you started that shit. Mm. You started that shit, which is fucking... That's what you like. You uh. like starting shit. That's your thing, huh? Yeah, I do. Uh. And guess what? Yeah. I also yeah. like ending it, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I wrote I wrote that line for him. <laughs> okay, I have the I have the entomology of yellow belly. If you guys want to um Pictures. if you guys want to oh know god. where yellow belly comes from. Yes. Are you ready? Do. Yes, Kyle, we do. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, he's <laughs> out. My god. <laughs> well, we might as well learn something, you know? We're out. We might as well learn something. Oh. Just <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. The word originally applied to birds that literally have a yellow belly, okay. like the yellow-bellied sapsucker. From there, it came to mean an insult for cowards. Okay. If you're afraid to ask someone on a date, you're yellow-bellied. Yep. If you're are. easily frightened, you're yellow-bellied. Durs okay. and lady <laughs> You might be a yellow belly. I, I do not understand that correlation at all because, like, you because because birds scare easy i guess so because they're very like i'm gonna fly here at the sound the first sound of something yeah so they're they seem frightened i guess right and then <laughs> that is the thought process of a bird i'm gonna fly here did you guys hear that i'm gonna fly here that doesn't seem like a very <laughs> uh cohesive definition no if i believe that what do you mean you don't believe it yeah you don't believe that? Yellow belly is a... Kyle, do you believe everything you read? I think he pees up on his stomach. I like that. I like that much better. Yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. You, you, you pee on your stomach at any sort of scary thing. Yellow belly. Yeah. Huh. Here's the what's the origin of yellow belly lily livered? What the fuck is a lily liver? Have you guys heard that one? I think that means you can't handle your booze. So huh? outlaw life, Durs, outlaw life, <laughs> there's not one part of you that has ever watched a gangster movie or any kind of western or anything where you were like that's tight i mean obviously i'm not doing that i'm not actually robbing the banks but you never thought about just being like yeah fuck no. Durs, you're trying to tell me you watched the movie a cowboy way and you weren't a little bit into maybe becoming a cowboy i can stop i can shorten that sentence to you never watched Cowboy Way. I've never seen that movie. I don't even know who's in this. What? Well, that's okay though. You've seen a lot. Woody. I think it's Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Ernie Hudson. Yeah, it's fucking great. <laughs> I yeah. also don't really know a cowboy. <laughs> what? Way, but yeah. <laughs> dude, it's a classic. I think I do. I know Carlito's way, and I never wanted to be Carlito. You never watched Goodfellas. Or or actually There's zero or Tombstone. What about Tombstone? Well, Tombstone is kind of no. like the opposite. Tombstone is 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 the law. Is the the good guys, yeah. which I personally love. Okay, I think that's better. But then you just feel like a narc. <laughs> yeah, but then those the law they're also kind of like, okay. dude. Well, it's confusing. They're also like sort of bad guys too. I can't believe you haven't seen a cowboy way. The cowboy way. The posters. These dudes are on horses in New York City. Anyway, they look like you. By the way, fifty nine percent on Rotten Tomato. Pretty good score. Not bad. So worth a watch. Yeah, not bad. Oh, did you put it in the chat? Uh, but the answer, Adam. Yeah, it's. I've never been like. I, I don't know. I don't. It's not. It doesn't like. Do it for me. <laughs> All right. Hey, what does it do for you? It's a rush, oh, right? The thought of yes. it is a rush. That's yeah. what it. It's what it boils well, down to. But why? Why is it? But I, what I'm saying is, why is it a rush for you? It's exciting. Why is it exciting? Well, obviously, it's a ton of adrenaline. You're going in there. You might know, get but, a shootout. You might get murdered. Yeah. But why do you? Why do you want that adrenaline? Because it's because mm. it's awesome. Well, so is the sports it, movie, like which is a totally, like non. You don't have to murder anybody. Yeah, but I'm I'm good at. I think I'd be really good at murder. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I would be, I am a good shot. It's a wild thing to say, bro. I think I'm a really good shot. Like you uh, want, you want to be a gangster. You think that's cool? I think I have a steady hand. You could be a surgeon. Mm -hmm. You could be do Dr. Giggles. In tough situations. <laughs> In <laughs> tough you. situations. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. could join my great great uncle and be in the Jesse James gang. So that's right. what's that's what's happening right now. Is you you're feeling like you've had family that has gone down this. This might be in your DNA. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're thinking. So you're accepting it. He was he was murdered. He was murdered. Uh, yeah, yeah. He got in the heat of in the heat of a robbery or what? In a heat in a heat of a robbery. Yeah, he was murdered mm. outside of a bank. He was. Uh, I, he might have been. I think we talked about this on the podcast before. Like. Uh, episode 12 or something but mm -hmm. he uh might have been like kind of the bitch of the crew because he was just like I, 
lookout. I think like you put the bitches on lookout. <laughs> oh, right, You're right, like, right. I don't know you, if all that's the, uh... all the tough guys go inside and rob the bank and look. He might have been the smartest one who's like, huh, if as soon as she no. hits the fan, I'm out of here. That's what I was going to say when you were doing that, the, running the scenario. I'm like, I'll be lookout. I'll be with the horses. You know what I mean? I'll be chilling, making sure they're quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, yellow belly stuff. But, yellow belly stuff. <laughs> Real yellow. Belly. Yeah, lily livered shit. But that's not that much adrenaline. That's pretty, that, the belly is pretty yellow. Yeah, I, yeah, get, I, get, I get that. Yeah, yellow belly, lily livered. Well, if I, I, I would like to do that, but I have to go inside so everybody sees my pink shotgun. <laughs> that's true. I need okay. people to see it. Just tucked in yeah. your pink boots. <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna see it if I'm out by the horse. Come yeah. on now, yeah, hold hold true. your horses. How, Absolutely. How'd you get it pink again? You did it with berries. Is that how you did it? <laughs> he dipped it in berries. I dipped it in like berry juice. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it's cool. It still works. Well, see, Dur what Durs isn't understanding, he's just thinking about the murders. I yes, it. there's it's the Wild West though, so murders are constantly happening. But you yeah. live, there's a code. Life expectancy is so low at that point. Like, yeah, come on. there's a, there's a code. Yeah. Well, what do you think the life expectancy like, is in in like the late 1800s? Well, if you're in Jacksonville, not very long because there's a really big fire in 1901. And what's your motive for robbing banks? Is money? It's just money. You just want money. Well, no, Adam wants to go on tour. Yeah, I want to take it on tour, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. you're doing, and that's what this guy did? I guess I just don't think they're cool. I don't. I think that they're losers. That's so sick. That's the sickest thing Durs has ever said. I think that they're fringe. Mm. They couldn't figure it out for themselves, so I then they had to pull out a gun mm. and kill people, mm. and I'm like, mm. I think you're a loser. <laughs> I think you need to... Uh, yeah, but that's... But that's not fun. You want to know what's cool? The guy who invented candy canes. Now that's cool to me. <laughs> also, 1900. Yeah. 1902. Yeah. You just slip the candy cane right in the barrel of the gun and go, yeah. I think this is cool. <laughs> Boom. The candy man can. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's people who couldn't hack it who got frustrated and they're like, uh, I'm going to rob a bank then. And you go, Well, I bet, yeah. I bet you are because you have a gun in my face. Because you're a loser. Mm, so Durs, so Durs, you're wider. It is yeah, definitely, cool. yeah. It's the easiest way to make money back then. <laughs> Hater. No, no, he's not wider because he's also not going to be a police officer. Right. He's not going to, yeah, he's not going to. Right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It seems like he has the mm -hmm. mind for a police officer. I'll be a police officer before I'll be a bank robber who kills okay. people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. You heard yep. it yep. first. I like that. Wider, dude. Let me be your, I'm going to be your Huckleberry. I mean, blue line, what do they call it? Blue line love? What is it called? I don't fucking I don't know. know. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. What is it? Blue lives matter. That's what it is. Blue, blue line love. Oh, yeah. Blue lines love. <laughs> blue line love. Blue, blue line love. My friend. And on that, that's another episode. Uh, any take backs, any apologies, any ep epic slams? I would 200. like. 200. Woo. To uh, say wow, big shout 200. out to Kyle Newichek for, yeah, for coming I'm back. Here. I think we did 80 mm. episodes without you. And yeah. uh, Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> it's good. Uh, something like that. And it's really good uh, to, to have you back. Mm -hmm. um, it's fine. It's, huh? Actually, it's fine. Yeah, yeah I, I don't you. know. I feel like. It yeah. it feels a little crowded. A little I feel clunky. like three people. It's a little yeah. easier and uh, yeah. it flows a little better. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine to have you back, Kyle. It's yeah, good noted. to see you. Yes. So my friend Kyle, it's good to see you as a podcast co-host. <laughs> mm -hmm. It pretty indifferent, yeah. but uh, to see you as my friend, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I'll yeah, take yeah. that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's that's uh. I don't love how you kind of replaced the soundboard today. Okay. Like, yeah, the soundboard. Blake's really <laughs> slept through this last podcast. Almost non-existent. Dude, it yeah. was everywhere. Maybe I'm not plugged in. He's just in awe. Oh, it was everywhere? I didn't hear it. Oh, really? You haven't heard it at all? Hit us with one. Hit it right Hit now. Us. You didn't just hear, I'm your friend? No. Oh, boy. Did you not plug in the soundboard? Oh, no, man. Nobody told me I've been playing sounds the whole freaking time. Mm. Oh. I, the last sound I heard. Oh, man. Uh, was like friendship, like uh, the in the first like two minutes. Yeah. What the hell? I didn't switch anything. Dang, that's mm. sad. I was yeah. really hitting the board hella well today. That's too bad. Well, we'll never that know. A, yeah. 
You're lucky Adam doesn't come in and shoot you, dude. Uh, dude. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> God damn, that's really sad. The fact that that the fact that my bank robbing <laughs> fantasies like turned on me, and mm. suddenly I'm like a bad guy. I'm like, I think a lot of people go into banks and imagining not murder, <laughs> but imagining yeah. how to rob them, mm. rob that bank mm. heist. Yeah, the heist. Yeah. The heist. Right. We've all seen heat. We've all seen heat, though. We know what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Good. That's a dangerous game. Dope shootouts. Dope shootouts. And and Adam, I think I think Adam's going to find a lot of support out there mm-hmm. from <clears throat> droves of losers <laughs> uh, who no, also are go. chasing this high that they just can't they can't manufacture themselves in their own lives. So they have to put other people's lives at risk. But Durs, I have. Oh, here we go. I have manufactured myself. I'm, I'm living a very good life. That's what's so. That's what's so interesting is that you still think I'm living a very good life. Yeah, but why do you need to subject other people? I I just don't understand. I don't understand it. Mm. I don't have to. It's a fantasy. I'm not doing everything in my fantasy. Happy two hundred. But what are you getting out of the fantasy? But like, uh, just cool imagination. My but, imagination's running wild, dude. I need to clip that. <laughs> I like that too. And the idea of living, and then we really didn't get to the bottom of like eighteen hundreds. You subjecting other people, like you having to dominate people for a rush. I, I guess I just don't get a rush out of that. Oh god, I'm living I, like I hate this version of Durs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. dude, I love this god. version of Durs. Are you guys hearing my? Are you guys hearing my drops now? Yeah. Very shagadelic. Yeah, got him. Got him. <laughs> the worst. Is that? Can that be your take back? That you have a fucking brain or? <laughs> no, well, I will say that I do think the the board was dropping. You will hear it when you listen back to the episode. Okay. It's just you guys didn't hear it on the Zoom. With the, now he's chunking. With that said, uh, happy 200th episode, everybody. Kyle, happy 100. Uh, I'm chunking now. It's good to see you, Kyle. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh my god. Yeah, 140. I'm I'm here with you guys. 140. Yeah, happy 200. <laughs> yeah, we're calling this the cowboy way. <laughs> 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 happy 140 gentlemen it's happy 200 man it was it was great to clunk with you <laughs> all right boys this was another episode of this, this is, is important. Important. we're back brought to you by zoa